Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Got a new product to show you today, and it's not a knife, it's not a flashlight, and it's not a battery. So, yay, we're making progress. So, yeah, I'm out here camping by myself uh, just to shoot some videos. And I, this, since it was nice and cold last night, I thought this would be the perfect chance to test the new sleeping bag that I recently got from Sportsman's Guide. Re not recently, but uh, wasn't that long ago I did like a best products of uh, 2016 video and one of those products was the Sportsman's Guide uh, Minus 15 Sleeping Bag. Uh, the Guide Gear Minus 15 Sleeping Bag. Well after that I got the opportunity uh, to test the Minus 30. So the Minus 15, that thing had 7 pounds of insulation. The minus 30 has nine pounds of insulation. It is not a backpacking backpack at all. But if you just camping however you want to camp and you want something that is like super crazy warm, this thing does the trick. So if you want to find out more about this bag, how much it costs, don't go away. So what I got up here, I was visiting some people in Marion last night and I didn't get out here to the campsite until about two in the morning. And obviously that's not the time that you want to start, you know, building a shelter and being all bushcrafty and fire and stuff like that. So I knew that I was gonna get out here that late. So when I left my house, I basically threw my quick camp setup in the back. So that Coleman pop-up tent, uh, little bundle of fat uh, firewood, one of those big giant pieces of uh, fat wood that was in the uh, video the other day, links in the description box below. <laughs> and then uh, that sleeping bag, that was pretty much it. And I was, pretty, I was trusting that it was gonna be warm enough because sleeping in a hammock with the minus 15 guide gear sleeping bag, that was just fine and this one is a lot uh, two pounds more insulation and it has a heavy canvas outer cover so all I did was I threw down another sleeping bag uh, to lay on a little bit just a little bit of cushion between me and the ground and then I just used this particular sleeping bag uh, all I had get, turn the sound off all I had on was my uh, minus 33 base layers in this bag and with just that I was perfectly fine all night nice and warm didn't get cold until you know morning winter camping is fun for the most part but waking up in the morning sucks because then it's like especially if it's like 23 degrees you got to get out of your sleeping bag and get moving again and get the fire going again that's that's the part that absolutely positively blows but can't say enough good things about this I mean it's not a backpacking sleeping bag so it's not like you know when if you've got a sleeping bag that you can actually backpack with that is warm enough for this type of weather, I mean, it's going to be super crazy expensive. You know, like the you know stuff people that climb mountains use and all that. But if you just want to camp, you know, and use a tent or a hammock or whatever, and you're not backpacking in, and you're not all about survival, then either one of these sleeping bags are awesome. Now, the minus 15, that one only cost me like 60 bucks. And that one is super freaking crazy comfortable. The, the inner and outer layers of both sleeping bags are different. Now, even though the minus 15 doesn't have the extra insulation that the minus 30 does, the minus 15 is actually, I think, more comfortable. 
because it's got that soft, um, like felt. I don't even want to know the word, but it's like a soft felt, like uh, inner inner lining. Very very comfortable. Uh, this one is too, but this one is like a little bit more rugged. It's got the, the heavy canvas outer, and then it's got a uh, flannel inner liner. So both won't. Both are warm, but both sleeping bags are very different. But the biggest thing I can say, you know, I'll cut, you know, I shot a clip uh, in the middle of the night once I got in the bag and, you know, my body heat warmed the bag and I was like, yeah, this thing's pretty warm. So let's check that out. I just got out here. It's about two in the morning, about 23 degrees by myself. Will's coming up here tomorrow. But this was an opportunity to, to try this uh, sleeping bag out. So because I knew I was going to get up here so late, I just set my vehicle up for you know a fast camp. Threw that Coleman pop-up tent in there. One little quick note about that that I didn't cover in the original video. A flaw that I found is if you stake that thing out really tight, you can't zip the freaking door. So I don't even have this tent staked down right now. It's the only way I'll be able to zip it up. But all I do is uh, I just threw my sleeping bag in that pop-up tent in the back of my SUV. A couple pieces of wood. A couple of those zip blocks. So I could just immediately get a fire started. And I've been uh, messing stuff up messing around with stuff out here. I got a couple candles going inside the tent, warming it up a little bit. But I'm going to get in here in a few minutes, get settled into this sleeping bag. Having tried the minus 15 out before in this weather, and it being fine, I feel I should probably be nice and comfortable in that minus 30. I mean, nine pounds of insulation is a lot of insulation, and it's sleeting out here. Yay! All right, so <clears throat> it's almost three in the morning, 24 degrees is where we're at right now. In the sleeping bag, in the tent. And I didn't want to just jump right in and, and I mean, tell you what I thought, but I gave it, you know, good 10 minutes for my body heat to warm up the sleeping bag and let me tell you this thing is warm I mean you can see it is actually cold you can see my breath but inside the sleeping bag I am toasty warm no problems whatsoever I'm not wearing any kind of heavy layers you know I just got my minus 33's on but other than that Yes, things definitely doing the trick. You know, you can hear, maybe you can hear it sleeting outside. But, we'll see how I uh, sleep tonight. And uh, check back in the morning. The best thing about either one of these is they're both built really, really freaking well. And they're both affordable. So the minus, minus 15 is about 60 bucks, and the minus 30 is 99 bucks. You know, for sleeping bags that are built for that amount of cold, you know, seven pounds of insulation, nine pounds of insulation. That's pretty fairly priced, I think, especially the minus 15. I actually think I stay warmer in the minus 15 than I do in my MMSS sleep system. Granted, it doesn't have the Gore-Tex outer cover that the MMSS does, but you got to have options. Uh, MMSS is still pretty freaking uh, bulky, but if you got a big enough pack, it is packable uh, as your main shelter system. So I just wanted to show these to you and give you my feedback. Definitely if I, whenever I'm out here, you know, because where I live in Ohio, you know, people always want you to like do all these different things, but you know, there's no place around here. You know, I don't live where Aaron from Gideon's Tactical lives. There's no backpacking five miles in somewhere. 
where I live. It's drive out to where you got to go, walk a little bit, that's where you camp. So that's not a big deal to me. And it's not going to be a big deal to a lot of other people depending on where they live. Uh, other than that, ain't got much to say except I think they're both Jessica List items. And they're definitely both worth the money that uh, Sportsman Guide charges for these. So this video is supposed to be about the minus 30, but I want since I have them both, I want to give you the options. And then I'll go ahead and put links to both sleeping bags in the description box below. Holy crap, it's cold out here. Freaking ears are <sighs> freezing. Ugh. Ohio. You know what? I'm out here filming, and like in a day or two, it's going to be like 70. Swear to God, I will shoot a video when it happens. It will happen. Because it's Ohio. So, so there's that. Just thought you might be interested in that. Something a little bit different. And technically, it is a budget item. Uh, even though 160, one's 100, but when you when you compare, you know what they do, how cold you can go out in. Uh, when you look at it that way, they are very budget priced uh, for what they do for you. So, all right, that's all I got for right now. Chris from Prepared My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click a like, share, and subscribe. Links to everything is in the description box below. I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.